Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are again painting a small uh, blue parrot. I just wanted to paint something with a minimal uh, number of colors. Let's see what colors we are using. We will be using uh, cobalt blue and also some vermilion. We will mixing these two colors and uh, uh, just creating a gray uh, shade out of it. So we will be just using these two colors for this small uh, bird. So here I have uh, put uh, sufficient water on the body of the parrot. I have not put it on the beak and the eye and on the feet. So otherwise I have uh, dampened the whole um, body <coughs> of the parrot. I have taken a medium consistency mix of the uh, cobalt blue. And uh, just if you see the reference picture, I have... Uh, Put it on the front part of the body and also if you see the reference picture it is the color is very dark near the eye so i have put a more darker mix near the eye and on the right side we are going to just uh, give a very light wash of the uh, dark blue or gray which we have mixed out of uh, cobalt blue and vermilion or, or any dark orange so i have not put any blue color on the right side of the parrot also i'm taking off uh, some of the edges we have we are trying to do a different kind of background uh, in this painting we will be uh, using the paintings color to paint the background as well and also i am lifting off some of the paint from the edges so here i have taken a bit more darker gray mix which we have mixed from cobalt blue and vermilion and i am just putting it on the uh, front of the body which is in the darker part because if you see the light is coming from the left side where we have left it uh, some of the portions white don't worry about if it looks uh, too much uh, spreaded or bloomed it should be fine once it dries up so I have intentionally uh, put some of the colors outside I wanted to give a different kind of soft feeling uh, to the uh, feathers of the parrot so I have not put any hard edges we will be defining some more edges but I have just uh, mixed it uh, to the background for now so this is gonna uh, dry up much lighter it looks very dark right now but it's gonna uh, dry up much lighter I have lifted some of the paint uh, with a damp brush from some places where you see the highlights in the reference picture you can also use a wet tissue so if you see the left side is the light lighter most part where the light is falling and then the central part is way much darker and the right side part is in an indirect shadow so we have just put the shadow color there there's no blue there So I'll wait for it to dry and once it has completely dried we will start with the next uh, wet on uh, dry layer. So here I'm just merging the background a little bit more. So as it has dried now you can see it has dried much lighter. So now we are going to do the detailing of the small feathers. So what I am doing, I am drawing these shapes and then with a damp and clean brush, I am just merging those, uh, those color uh, to the downside of the feather. If you see here, I am just putting a line and then with a damp brush, I am just merging that line to the downward direction and the, and the top of the feather remains crisp only. We are not merging that. So this is one of the techniques how we can paint feathers. There are other techniques also uh, we, where we can put the feather lines with a very fine brush. But uh, I tried that too. Uh, maybe in the end I will try to show the picture earlier. I was trying that approach and it did not look good for this parrot. So we, I think this one looks much softer and much simpler to achieve. You just have to draw uh, a shape. And then you have to take a damp brush 
and then just merge it on the body so we are going to repeat the same and uh, uh, paint the rest of the feathers before we go and uh, uh, detail out the the beak and the eye I'm going back on some of those feather details and just putting some more pigment there so that it doesn't look all the same if you want you can also uh, leave it like this and don't paint too much details but I have painted some more details on this in a similar fashion you can also try out this uh, with ultramarine color maybe but you may have to see that what uh, shade you want to mix to the ultramarine because ultramarine may not uh, give a very good uh, gray shade with vermilion so probably burnt sienna you can mix with ultramarine you can also paint this with any green shade and then you can see what you can mix with green uh, basically I have followed the color wheel and I have taken the complementary color but uh, you can see what color you can mix into your main color to create a gray gray or a neutral color for putting the shadows you can also use a uh, maybe a number one brush if you are not comfortable with a number two I have used a number two here uh, for the body earlier I have used a number six round brush but these details I have put with a number two brush uh, this is a fairly small uh, study of the parrot this is like I think 5 into 7 inches uh, cotton 100% cotton paper cold pressed uh, if you want you can try it out on hot press but I do not generally prefer hot press paper I am putting more darker values uh, towards the bottom uh, of the um, parrot's body so here for the uh, this I have just mixed a little tint of a blue to the vermilion because I did not want it the vermilion to be very bright so I have just used a very light wash of vermilion on the beak and on the bottom of the beak the second part of beak also I have used the same color I have used the same color for the feet uh, you can also use a little bit brownish color for the feet but I wanted to limit the colors to two only for this painting hence I have not uh, used <coughs> any of the other colors so with a, a zero size or a rigger brush I have tried to paint some of the details of the feather here you can skip this step uh, it's not required necessarily but I just wanted to because in the reference photo if you see um, it looks very very spiky and hairy I just wanted to give a little bit of uh, spikes or hairs but it's completely optional and you can skip this part I have taken the same gray mix and I'm just highlighting a little bit on the beak uh, I have used indigo to paint the eye you can also use your um, any black uh, 0.25 liner uh, like Sakura or any other brand which you have but I have used uh, a brush and indigo paint here I have not painted too much details because it's fairly small size I did not want it to overwhelm uh, the painting with the detailed eye I have taken a bit more of the grey uh, which we mixed and I am putting some more highlights and some more ha hairy feathers this is a very light mix of indigo I just used out of tube and I have just given some little background or little kind of a, a place for the parrot to sit if you see in the reference photo I think it's sitting on the edge of a couch or something so we have not for a change we have not painted a leaf or a branch here and the parrot is sitting somewhere in somebody's house I guess I've taken the same indigo and put just a little bit of detail on the beak don't do it too much it will look very odd 
I just put a dot and that's it so here what I am doing I am highlighting the lighter part by putting some dark background I have used the same vermilion for the background so this is uh, something new which I have demonstrated in this tutorial that you can use the uh, uh, pigments from your main subject into the background so that you do not have to put a con contrast or a you know out of the place background so this is a very easy and safe way to paint the background and it it gives a very nice and polished look to your paintings and here with a very thin brush I have just put some more pigment uh, near the left side of the palette so I think we are almost done so if you guys try this out um, or if you have any questions please mention in the comments if you uh, like this tutorial or if you think it is helpful please like the video and press the subscribe button so that you can get uh, all other tutorials in future um, we'll get back soon with another um, maybe a small bird or another sunset painting soon